Is it recording? Yeah. Hey everybody, this is Warren and this is my first YouTube video and I decided that as my first video, I'm going to do a Q&A so y'all can get to know me a little. So yesterday I posted on my Instagram for people to send me questions so I can answer them in this video and I got a good amount and I'm finna start reading them. What made you want to start a YouTube channel? I want to start a YouTube channel out of my love for YouTube. I watch YouTube every day. So I thought that, excuse me, that it would be good, cool for me to have a YouTube channel so I could post some videos, contribute to the YouTube community. Where are you from? I am from Oak Park, Michigan, which borders Detroit, which happens to be where I was born. Where did you go to high school? I went to Oak Park High School. I'm class of 2018. And no, I don't miss high school. The only thing I miss about high school is the fights. Just to put it out there. <laughs> Where, uh, I'm so sorry. What is your zodiac sign? I am an air sign. I am Libra and my birthday is October 9th. What has life taught you so far? Even though I learned this many years ago, life has taught me to never take it too seriously. Because back then, I used to be so lame. I didn't have no sense of humor at all. I used to take everything so seriously and all that. But a old friend of mine has taught me to never take life too seriously. Like loosen up, have fun. What is one traumatic experience that you've been through? When I was three years old, I got into a car accident in Ohio and I was three years old, like I said, and I am so glad me being almost 20 that I'm still here, that God has kept me here. God told me that it's not my time. I'm going to keep you here on earth for a longer period of time. And I am so grateful for that. How many siblings do you have? I have two siblings. I have a brother and I have a sister. They both are twins and they both are three years older than me. What's one thing that changed about you since you got older? My social skills because, man, when I told y'all back when I was in grade school, if you wasn't my friend, I didn't want to have anything to do with you at all. I did not want to have anything to do with you at all. I was super antisocial. I feel, don't get me wrong, I feel like you are supposed to be cautious of who you around of who you talk to but i feel like i was a little too cautious so when i graduated i became such a social butterfly i talked to everybody hey how are you hey how are you hi how are you hey what are you doing hey what are you doing hi my name is warren hi my name is warren hey what's your name hey what's your name i just talk to everybody you now who's one person whose death affected you a lot my grandmother my grandmother died when i was six years old and next month is actually going to make 13 years of her being gone. And to this day, I still miss her. I think about her every day. If you had to pick one show to watch every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would be Glee. Anybody that knows me knows that I am such a Gleek. I love Glee so much. And Glee has honestly helped me a little in my life. It really has. What's your relationship status? Single as fuck. What's something that you get complimented on a lot? Oh, my beautiful skin. Yes, my skin and my chocolatey skin. I constantly get told at work that, oh, you have such nice skin. Your skin is so beautiful. I really love your skin. Your skin is so nice. I always get told that at work and I am so happy about that because I've been a victim of colorism. So the fact that I'm getting such compliments on my skin, that really means a lot to me. It really means a lot to me. What's the unpopular opinion that you have? I know this is a lame, unpopular opinion, but I really do not understand how people prefer vanilla over chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream is so bomb to me. The only vanilla that I prefer, excuse me, vanilla over chocolate ice cream is French vanilla. Outside of that, chocolate ice cream all day. What's something that you don't like about yourself? 
One of the biggest things I don't like about myself is how indecisive I am. I am so indecisive. I have a real issue of making decisions. That's because I overthink a lot. I'd be thinking of what would the outcome of this choice be? What would the outcome of that choice be? Like, don't get me wrong, overthinking can be a good thing at times, but sometimes it can really be bad. What's one thing that you've never done? A lot of people have told me they have done this before, but I always tell them that I've never done it and I want to do it at least once before I die. I've never been camping before. I've heard camping is so much fun, to be honest. A lot of people say it's so much fun, but I've never been yet, but I would like to go one day. Do you have any tattoos? No, I don't have not one tattoo. I, don't, I honestly don't want ta a tattoo, but when I was younger, I did used to want a tattoo. Uh, that didn't make no sense. When I was younger, I did want a tattoo. I did, because I thought tattoos were so cool. And I still do think they're cool. I am so fascinated by tattoos. But for some reason, I just don't want one. But I love looking at them, though. What's one thing you are working on right now? I'm working on getting back in school, which I already have been enrolled for next winter. Fast up to that. I've been enrolled, and I cannot wait to start back to going to school. I've been out of school for two years, out of high school for two years. And the fact that I'm putting myself back in school to get a degree, I'm proud of myself for that. I really am. I don't care how hard school gets. I don't care how much a teacher don't like me. I didn't put myself back in school two years later to drop out. I'm coming for that bachelor's. I don't care. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it. What's something about society that you hate? Ooh, <laughs> I hate a lot about this society. Where can I start? Well, I'm just gonna name one thing. One thing I hate about this society is the desperateness for relationships. Like a person will be will stick in a toxic, will stick, ugh, will be in a toxic relationship just to say they ain't a relationship. And I don't like that. People care too much about statuses. They care too much about titles. And I just can't get into that. I just can't get into that. Like, why not just be single? Like, why just stick to being in a toxic relationship? I don't, I never got in that. And I don't think I will ever will get that. So, yeah. And that is all my questions. And before I end this video, before I end this video, I would like to express my feelings on what's going on in the world right now with this whole coronavirus, this whole Black Lives Matter movement, the whole protest and the whole rioting stuff. So let me put this iPad down. How I feel about this whole, let me start with the coronavirus. How I feel about the whole coronavirus thing, I've never been the type that's all into them conspiracy theories, all that other stuff. But if you want me to be honest with you, I honestly feel like that the coronavirus is man-made. No one can tell me any different because I did some research and they said that the coronavirus has been around since like the 50s or 60s, whatever. And, but it wasn't as big of an issue as it is now. So the fact that it's now become one of the biggest problems in the world, decades upon decades later, I don't understand that. I don't. Like, that is so fishy to me. And now with the whole Black Lives Matter movement, of pride, uh, well, why is that pride? Uh, with the whole protesting and the rioting thing, I am so happy that all 50 states have a protest going on within them. I am so happy. I'm even happier that other countries is protesting about this matter because I am really excited that people are understanding how much hate black people get for no reason. We the main ones that's being victims of racism. We the main ones that's being victims of police brutality. We the main ones that just get hate for no reason. Like the fact that me being a black man in America, and yes, I'm saying America because I refuse to call this country the United States because it ain't nothing united about this racist country at all. So just to say that, 
just being a black man, not just in America, but in the world, period, knowing that no matter if I'm a good person or not, that it's a lot of people out there that still gonna hate me because of the color of my skin, because of the color of my skin, that's crazy. That's really is crazy and it's sad. And with the whole protest and the rioting thing, rioting thing, I don't mind people. I don't mind black people rioting, destroying, looting the uh, stores. I don't because us rioting and us looting, like Martin Luther King said, that rioting is the language of the unheard, and that is so true because we try peaceful protesting, we try reasoning. And they didn't care. So now we looting. And now all of a sudden y'all want to get mad? Fuck that. And this whole people saying all lives matter, da 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 da. Yeah, all lives do matter. But it ain't about nobody else. It's about us black people. Because like I said, we the main ones that's getting hate trip from all around the world for for no reason. For no reason at all. Just because of the color of our skin. And that is so wrong. That is so wrong. And like I be saying a lot, the Christian races, the Christian races, y'all not Christian at all. Y'all are not Christian. How can you be a believer in God and hate someone just because of the color of their skin? That ain't no true Christian. That ain't a true Christian. That ain't Christian at all. So that's all I think about for the... uh this whole everything that's going on in the world right now. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure you like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, make sure you subscribe. And I am so grateful that I made this video finally because I've actually been having this YouTube channel since 2018, but now I didn't got the courage to make a video, but yeah, like I said, thank you guys for tuning in. Have a nice day and be safe. Bye.